Hi everybody, since I did my fall haul a couple of weeks ago, you guys have been asking me to do a fall decor tour, so here we go. This is my front porch. As you walk up the steps, I just added a couple of really pretty mums, and I've had this black wrought iron pumpkin for several years. It's been really hot in Georgia here, so I haven't bought any real ones because I was afraid they would rot, but those will soon take that black pumpkin's place. As you come up the stairs, I have a little table and chairs, and I got this adorable metal pumpkin from the store and that it has a cute candle holder in the back so it looks really cute lit up at night as you walk to my front door you see a give thanks sign on the left and then this pumpkin on the right the sign came from Kirkland's and the pumpkin actually came from a craft fair several years ago on the side of my house I have this little floral organizer and I usually keep fake flowers in it because it's very shaded under here and so I got these little mums at Joann's Here's another look at my porch. I think it's so cute. My house sits up on a hill and you can definitely see it as you drive by. As you walk in my house, you walk toward my sunroom and the kids were really looking for some spooky things. I typically don't do a little Halloween, so I just made a Halloween section. I got this adorable sign that says Happy Halloween with the Witch at TJ Maxx for $16.99 and then the Boo candle holders came from Kirkland's. I have a little raven in front of the boo candle holders and his eyes light up, but he was getting lost amongst the black bottoms of the candle holders, so I added this spider web with the creepy little spiders and I thought it added a fun touch. At night when the house is a little darker, you can see his eyes shine and it's just really adorable. The next thing I got was from Target. I fell in love with this little candy dish and you touch it and it starts talking to you. I see what you're doing. As you can see, the candy dish is almost empty, so I'm going to have to fill it again very soon. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I just really think this little area is so super cute and we're enjoying it. The next room I started to decorate was the kitchen. This is the little section of my kitchen. This sign I got from Target for only $5. I thought it was adorable. The little black glowing pumpkin that I have a candle in came from the dollar section. It was $3 and I thought I couldn't pass it up. I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it, but I kind of made a little section here. I got this little double standed stand at Hobby Lobby and I added some sour pumpkins in a jar. The little black pumpkin came from Hobby Lobby and then I got these little potion bottles also from Hobby Lobby as well as the orange pumpkin. The little gumballs actually came from Target and the pumpkin mix with the nuts came from Target also and I just put it in the jar and I've got my Hello Pumpkin in my Keurig ready to go. If you spin around I got this little big glowy pumpkin that's lighted. It's so pretty at night and it just sits in one corner of my kitchen and I think it's just really pretty. The next thing I got was a little glass pumpkin. It was only $12.99 and I love the shape of it. Please pardon my crock pot. I am hard at work at making dinner for my family. I will post the taco soup recipe below if you're interested in it. I got the little jump in the leaves sign actually from Target and then the candle was a pumpkin waffles. This is right outside my laundry room. I got this adorable sign from TJ Maxx and this little candle holder and pumpkins and candles all came from Hobby Lobby and I just thought it was just really pretty and a fun little entrance right between my back door and my laundry room. The next place you come is to my living room. I just got some basic orange pillows and those all came from TJ Maxx. On my coffee table, I have this bowl that I've had forever and I filled it with pumpkins from Target. And then I just got this little plaid throw from Joann's Fabrics. I think I got it for 60% off and it's really cute and lightweight and it's perfect for this time of year. As you come around, you see my fireplace. Unfortunately, the window is making the light kind of funky, but I will show you little vignettes of what I have done. I had a wreath stand, so I placed this wreath that I got from 
Home Depot for $12.99 on the wreath stand. And then I got these two adorable little pumpkins from Target. I just thought they were so pretty. And that little bit just added just enough to the bottom and it gave it some height of my hearth. Then I got this basket from TJ Maxx. The pumpkin is from Target and the pillow is from Michaels and the blanket is from TJ Maxx. And I made just a little comfy area right there. The top is really nothing special. It's things that I've had. The sign had some red in it and I just went ahead and kept it that way. I didn't find any decorations that I really fell in love with. So I decided to just keep that and decorate that next year as I'm collecting more and more fall items. The next place I decided to decorate was my dining room. I got this really pretty piece at Kirkland's. I added some little round candle holders to it and I put it on this fall runner. It's beautifully embroidered with pumpkins on it and then on below everything I started with just a brown tablecloth. I hope you guys have enjoyed where I've put my fall things. I have not decorated for quite a while for fall so I'm starting over again and I've had a great time just adding pieces to my home. I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to hit subscribe.